Hello and welcome. My name is Roger, and this is your Daily Tarot Map for Sunday, April 19th, 2015, using Tarot to create the life you want. Well, first off, I wish to thank everybody for sharing these videos, for liking them, for subscribing to this channel. As always, your support is greatly appreciated. So, this week, it is Sunday, and we start a brand new deck every Sunday. And this week, we're going to be working with a deck created a couple of years back by one of my favorite tarot authors, James Rickliffe. And the name of the deck is The Tarot of Masters. Now, the last, uh, last time I checked, James does still have copies of, uh, of the deck available on his website, and I'll, I'll, and I'll post the link uh, in the video. So... On to today's draw with the uh, Tarot of Masters. The three cards drawn today were the Six of Cups, the Youth of Swords, and the Emperor. So, we start out the week with the lovely Six of Cups as our first card, which depicts two children collecting fireflies. This is a card typically associated with uh, friendship, harmony, nostalgia, um, childhood memories, sharing with others. Now, while this is a lovely card symbolizing the innocence of youth, it can also be a warning, a warning to try to li not live so much in the past. You know, so many of us try to recapture the past and then end up disappointed because it's not the same. It's not the way we remembered it. So, while it can be pleasant to relive those favorite events from the past, I see this kind of suggested that it might be time to put the past behind us and start on or move on to something new. And this is represented, this, this idea of newness, by a second card, the Youth of Swords, or uh, the Page or Princess, and other decks. The, the youth, of, youth of Swords in this spread has her back facing the Six of Cups, in essence, putting the past behind her. Though she has taken the culmination of those past experiences with her as part of her experience of wisdom, she is not stuck in the past, nor does she allow the past to dictate her future. She doesn't allow those past events or traumas to prevent her from following the path that she wants. So thus, it might be time to release those preconceived notions about what you can and cannot do, and instead, focus on a new future. Once we begin, once we stop feeling like a victim and take control, we can look to the future with newfound clarity, as suggested by the appearance of the Emperor in our final position in today's spread. This is the ultimate card of being in control. Now, the Emperor is someone who decides his own fate. He forms the future, his future, himself. That is to say, he doesn't allow past circumstances or past misfortunes to hold him back. He is the emperor. He takes charge and takes responsibility for the creation of his own future, and in doing so, creates the future he wants. So the message that I'm getting from these three cards is, Call back the energy you are wasting on painful events of the past. It's time to grow past those old experiences and create a new beginning. Now today's advice card comes from the Enchanted Map Oracle by Colette Baron reed and the card drawn randomly from the deck is number 17, Ghostlands. Now we've seen this card come up just recently in reference to the past and future, both places where we should not be living. These are places where nothing can truly happen, for it is only in the present that we can initiate, can, we can initiate true change in our lives. The ghost lands are only places we should visit temporarily. They are not somewhere in which one takes up a long-term residence. Now, this idea supports nicely t the, today's message in that there comes a time when it's time to stop living or trying to recreate the past and instead move into the present. Once we do so, we can begin creating the future that we want. And that is your Daily Tarot Map for today. If you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you click the like button below. And uh, also feel free to visit my website at tarot-dude.com to learn more about my work. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Brightest blessings.